where most of those who want to cause crisis in our states are coming from, who have met with the opinion leaders, the likes of us, and John Azutan Bata, and others. I also told them that, look, River State belongs to all of us, we are a local government, we must promote the well-being of our people, despite the distraction we're having from uh, our brothers who felt that we want to attack the resources that belongs to the people, and of which we have visited them. We have visited them and said, look, we must do the right thing. So we have met with our leaders and the support of our administration and the support of the SLS government of the state that the state must move forward. The state first, that is the interest of our people. And uh, we have concluded that tour. And uh, also met with the religious leaders, uh, the bishops, Within the bishop of the of another bishop, another clergyman, uh, within our local governments, to tell them, look, this state belongs to all of us, this document belongs to all of us, and we must continue to pray for the success of this excellence in the government of the So I think we've connected with almost all the leaders, and you know, key leaders that are very, very important, to seek both the former commissioners and the serving commissioners to seek for their support. That is part of reaching out to our people. I also launched Operation Keep Obia for Clean. Our environment was looking good. You also are aware that uh, Obia for is part of the Potakok uh, city. We also have the Roma, we also do an intervention job where they can't meet up at the local government to assist them to see how we clear uh, those uh, refugees on the road. Cutting of grasses. We also told people that uh, they must clean the environment. We also set up a tax force on environmental sanitation to go about all the community so that. Uh, please, our local government is clean. Um, also, by next month, the face of next month, or we're planning for next month, as a second month uh, of having of a free medical program, the eye, we're going to have eye doctors, we're going to reach a BP, we'll get glasses for our age mothers, and uh, see how we take care of the gate and drugs, and also give them some stickers to take care of their. Okay, that uh, program is coming up from the first week of August. We have a center from the uh, uh, Woji CV Center, World 1 to World 5, uh, Rumibo CV Center, Rumibo CV Center. We spread it across the 17 words. We have eye doctors, those who will check people. We have a lot of uh, programs we lined up for that two days to see how we manage our eight mothers and fathers. And those of our youth who have eye issues, we also uh, provide eye We going to give them classes. Uh, those who also, furthermore, if, they, if it is need for them to have operation, we have also contacted some doctors, partner with the River City Family Health Care Board to see how we are going to get these things done. So, our Peter people to be available from the first week of next month. This program will be uh, a flag of a Moji CV Center to Rumibo CV Center to Rumibo CV Center. So, I want our Peter people to use this opportunity to come out, our uh, each mothers to see how we can take care of them and uh, also provide a little uh, uh, support for them to see how they, 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 can, they can live more longer. And I want to call our people that uh, this program is going to be a very good one. They should be particular of it and that uh, all the leaders of uh, different worlds should make their, their people available. So Master for Health is in charge of that program. So the program is starts from the first week of August to see how we're going to help and support our people. Um, the issue of education. Uh, yes, the school is having up. Also, make provision for notebooks. I want to just go to all uh, the public schools. Most of the public schools uh, who have visited the local government, the government as part of the project, there's no, most of the, there's no writing materials. So, the director is providing for education. I want to provide writing materials, some parts and uh, notebooks for them so that they can uh, be comfortable. So, the issue of the issue of public school, what are the public schools too? Also looking at how to renovate most of them. Most of them are not into it. Some have visited some of them. So I'm sure that people are going to put those things available within next month. And those notebooks will be available not across all the public schools uh, in our local government. The issue of agriculture. Uh, we have a very big uh, Farm, we are poor uh, farmers. We are uh, making. We have also visited that place. We have seen what uh, the issue is, and uh, also um, 
when we start the fish farm the by next month and uh, we're also contacted people to also do a boot uh, to see how we're going to engage the employers of our, our youth. But the, land, the, the land is too massive, it's like there I will start no uh, uh, investment inside. So we have said as a local government I want to put it in use from next month. So uh, I will also visit there so I've been there one or two times to see what is there. So I also call on the community to remain calm that uh, we're going to Officially to go out um, from next one to see how one will uh, build a very big uh, fish farm that I will employ most of the youth of the local government. I also said the issue of uh, the top. I think uh, we're going to start maybe from Monday to talk to our people, our women, our youth uh, to get uh, what's their problem, what the issues in the communities. The business of the Panama rulers in all the communities in the local government. I think uh, we also met the national rulers earlier before and I was spoken to them, telling them that local river states is safe and that they will support the government of rivers in residency in South Africa. So they also assured us as a traditional institution that they will not be partisan, that they will support uh, the government of the residency, the government of river states. Well, I think uh, two days ago we had the uh, information flying around that uh, we formed a, a tax force to harass people and to collect money from people. And let me state this clearly that uh, the local government is a very sensitive place. The local government formed the condition uh, committee. If you go to Rumokuro, Flyover, you see what's happening there. Go to the flyover, go to the major shop, go to Arcelar. People are selling on the road. People are packing vehicles anyhow. And uh, you have visited us, look, you must park properly. Now there's a park at Rumoku, I've told them that all the vehicles should be parked inside. You know, uh, Nigeria is the most, people must come to criticize what you're doing. I've told them, look, you must go inside the park. People should not be parking on the road. People should not be selling on the road. So the committee who set up must to decongest and tell you, you must do the right thing. So, for those who are criticizing what we are doing, they should feel free to come and meet with us. We are open. You must not say because they are asking not to park on the road, they are trying to do the right thing. You need to raise around to say, look, we are forming a task force. I want to appeal to uh, people, to the public, anybody that has any useful information on those who are doing illegality should be open to us. What we did was to set up a legitimate uh, road decongestion. Uh, the committee to decongest part of this. We also aware that everything we have the decongestion a, a task force. But they can't do it, they can't do it alone. So I'm able to support them. I also appeal to national road transport workers to call them to order. They should be parking inside the park. They should make use of the park, not parking on the road. And those who are selling on the road should stop selling it. From Monday also I myself also supervised uh, uh, within this place I've mentioned this location, Rumokuru. If you go to Rumokuru now, you can't pass there, it's been like one hour because people are selling on the road. And people are packing the on the road just to relax inside their vehicle, move your vehicle, they move their vehicle. So I want to appeal to people that we are not which one is what we are doing is the right thing. We're also calling on those traders, vehicle might feel break, the heat that they will die. So what are you selling on the road for? Go to the market, go inside the park. So what are people people that they should not say that we are we chanting any boy, what we are doing is the right thing. We also provided transformers for communities, you know, via political government. Uh, by Wednesday, it was going to give to making another community that needed a transfer and apply. That is part of uh, our, our, our job. We also said that as uh, previous administration gave a transfer, we started stalling it. We want to install one of those transfers before we uh, run them because keep, uh, one is bringing transfer, two is to install it. So those ones, have been, uh, those ones have been there before. I see that the weather is bad, too many little needs. So we have started to hook those things and then make sure they power the transfer. And also, part of this also giving that to the communities. That was on that uh, part of it. I uh, was also aware that in the recent time, uh, the, is he what I call him, uh, the Catholic Committee Chairman of APC, or what I call him, the Factional Chairman, um, who happens to call from a local government, who also served and benefited as a Catholic Committee Chairman of the local government, uh, Tony Ucha. It's quite unfortunate that. that uh, Tony has told himself whether to be an errant boy to his peer master 
or to be distracted. I have worked closely with Tony Kuch. I don't want to talk about him, but uh, it is necessary to address him properly now. That uh, Tony is one man that lacks concentration, that lacks focus. Tony Kuch is a man as character. He's a man that is not respected by people. Uh, well, it's quite unfortunate that such character is representing us at the board of NDDC. I want to officially call on Mr. President to call this people to order. These people are dating the image of the government of Mr. President. You can see what is happening each time Tony comes out to him, are accused or insult the office of the government. And let me also say that when Tony was in a position, Tony Okuta could not address the former government of Chiba as an EMUK, like what he's doing as of today, because the governor is a man that has conscience, because the man is a man that respects people, is a very humble. Let me also say that we are only out of patience, and it is time Mr. President called these people to order to allow peace to reign in our state. This state, for God's sake, belongs to everybody. The same persons who are saying, the Kettler Committee saying like I was saying people who benefited from it. So you now see that whatever they are saying is it's opposite of what they are doing. And they are beneficial of all these things. So how can people take this character serious? So I want to call on Tony Kuta to distract from insulting the office of the governor of the state. And let me tell our people that Ikuri people have done their tenure for 16 years and five years. We can't be governor again for now. Let us support the river right people to do their tenure for eight years. Nobody will die, nothing will happen. They gave us support. She became a governor for eight years. We came, became governor against all odds. Never people supported the for eight years. Are you calling the other people tried fools? Because you want to be in charge, you want to be the city of government for his excellency, the governor of the university. Our people, especially me, as the chairman, Kedeka committee of government, and the leaders of the government, we have said no to that. Our people are not in support of the injustice of these people. What they are doing is to cause problems in our state. I want also use this to call on uh, Martin Samibuli to please allow peace to reign in the vast state. These people have been in power since 1999 to date. Why can't they go home and answer former? Is there anything, is there anything against our answering former? Audrey is the former governor of the vast He's having rest. Chibika Meki has done his own. He's having rest. Why can we cannot allow peace to reign in our state for God's sake? Nigerians are looking and laughing over this thing. This issue is demarcating our state and Nigeria's role. That Mr. President should call these people to order to allow peace to reign in our state. You see counter order every day you wake up, different issues every day you wake up. I think uh, we are sick and tired of this. They should allow the government to concentrate. As for us, the river states. As for we, you know, the are political government, we are stand firm with the governor of the river states, especially Sassinari Fubara, and that we are going to support him to be governor for eight years. Our brother has done his own for eight years. This state was more or less inside his pocket. Nobody started him. So why are you not starting this young man who all of us voted for? So I want to call on Tony Kutu and his cohorts. They should allow peace to reign the river states. They should just see what after the city going to be distractors. We are not. We are not supporting their illegality. We are supporting the governor to do his thing for eight years. We also are two weeks ago we went to the government house in solidarity with all the great leaders, national rulers, youth leaders, women group, to reaffirm our support for the government of Fubara that we are in support of what he's doing. He could people are not ungrateful people. We are going to continue to support his essence. So I want to assure people not to be distracted with what the likes of Tunu Kucha is doing. Tunu Kucha lacks the integrity to talk to the governor of the past state. And as for us, as a people, we must continue to do the right thing. And I want to assure people that the local government is safe in our hands. Thank you, God bless you.